I've had this conversation many times with Windows users who were asking whether or not they should switch over to Mac OS. And I've noticed some common themes in those conversations, so I thought I'd give you five things you need to know if you're thinking about switching to Mac. Number one, switching over to the Mac will not magically make you a power user. If you are the kind of person who would say, hey, I'm just not very good with computers, well, the skill set you brought to the table on Windows, that's the same skill set you're bringing to the table on a Mac. So don't expect that suddenly you're gonna be amazing at everything. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Number two, you will still have problems to solve occasionally, stuff you just can't figure out and you're gonna to need to ask somebody for help. That's just how it goes. You know those moments of frustration where you're trying to solve something or do something that really should be easy? That's just normal and you're gonna have that happen when you're using Windows. You're gonna have it happen when you're using Mac OS. Sometimes you just gotta figure things out. That stuff just doesn't magically go away because you switch to Mac. Number three, while I do think Mac OS is easier to use day to day, there's still going to be a learning curve if you were switching to Windows and you're not familiar with Mac OS. So give yourself some time, be patient, and take the time that's needed to learn the basics of how the system works. Like there might be some app that you start using you've never used before. You're going to have to learn how that works as well. Be patient with yourself, recognize there's going to be a learning curve, and switching to Mac OS doesn't mean that you're suddenly gonna have all the how-tos just downloaded into your cerebral area. Number four, you need to know how you plan on using your Mac. Um, you know, is there something you've been doing on your Windows computer that has this Windows only application there, Windows only program that, and you're just not gonna be able to get on the Mac? Well, do some research. Make sure you know how you're using the Mac. Maybe you're just a person who surfs the internet all the time and you, everything you do is on the internet or something simple like that. Well then, no problem. Switch to Mac, learn how the system works, you'll be set. But if you have some apps you've been using on Windows, make sure you understand what is the comparable app on Mac OS. And maybe what, what's the reviews on that? Do some research on the internet and find out what you're about to get yourself into. Number five, there's always something else that you could spend money on. So here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna buy that new desktop iMac or the MacBook Pro or whatever you buy. And a couple months later, there's gonna be some Apple announcement about an upgraded version of what you just got. It's going to happen, okay? Um, and it's really hard to keep our eyes off of that new bright and shiny thing. But here's the thing, buying a new Mac won't change the fact that new stuff is always coming out. So, you know what? Buy the best model that you can afford, enjoy it, whether it's an iMac or a MacBook Pro, and just know newer models are gonna come out. That doesn't change the quality of what you just bought. So stick with it, love it, enjoy it, it's great. You switched. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. You can also subscribe and you can choose to be notified with a really annoying ding every time I come out with a new video. So you can do that as well. We'll see you in the next one.